You see, over the past 10 years, I've had a bunch of different walls that I've gone through. The primary three contenders are these right here. Each of these represent a different style of wall for a specific purpose, but none of them really hit the mark. They were all missing something, something really important to me. And that was to serve the other purpose of my primary carry, and that is a pocket notebook. Well, for 2023, I think I found the perfect wallet for me. It combines a wallet, notebook, all in a tiny package about the size of a normal bifold. Before we get into that, let's look at some of my past wallets. So early on, I started with this Kickstarter Dismeal wallet, which is basically just two slabs of aluminum and an elastic band around it to hold some cards together as well as some bills. And this works great if you want a minimalist carry, just the tiniest package you can get away with calling a wallet. The main problem with this is just, you know, it's not stylish. It's just utilitarian and that's fine for when you need it. Nowadays, I use this basically as just to hold a big pile of cards and grab out whatever I need for it for the day. So let's put that aside. Then came this Bellroy wallet, which is beautiful. It's nice, sleek, black, it can hold a bunch of cards as well as some bills, uh, but it gets a bit bulky. And well, who wants that when you have to carry a notebook alongside it? Plus the fact is most of the time I'm wearing brown leather goods and the black just really clash with that. So I, I save this for those special occasions or when I'm wearing a suit or something like that. But then there's a real gem in this pile and that's the Loyal Strickland Johnny wallet. And this thing is just, flat out amazing. It's made out of a single piece of cut and folded leather. And in it, you can fit a whole bunch of bills, a whole bunch of cards, and frankly, just looks cool, folds up nice and compact, and really doesn't take up that much room in your pocket. This has been my go-to wallet for the past couple of years, and I have absolutely loved it. But once again, I had a major problem. And that was, I was carrying a pocket notebook and pen alongside that, which just doubled the package size. So I wanted to see if I could do better. I wanted to see if I could find a good pocket notebook that could also double as a way to carry a couple of cards and a couple of billfolds. And you know what? I did just that. So let's get all these out of the way and talk about my new wallet for 2023. And this is the Plotter Mini 5 notebook. And it is just amazing. Now the primary purpose of this is a notebook. The wallet is just secondary, but let's dive into it. First of all, I've got this closed attachment band in there, which keeps everything nice and compact, nice and tight together, and make sure nothing slips out. We'll get to the wall section first, and that is just right in the back. There's this thin leather sleeve in which you can fit a couple of bill folds, as well as a couple of cards. I think you could probably easily fit four cards in here, or two cards and a couple of bill folds, which is what I go with, a driver's license and a debit card, two debit cards if I need to carry around business purchases. And for that, it works absolutely perfect. The card pouch is nice and deep, holds the entire card secure, and if it was to slide out at all, it hits the rings, making sure it won't fall out. In the back, of course, with the secure band, I have a place I can store receipts if I need to, but the primary purpose of this, as I said, is as a pocket notebook. And that is what has me really excited, because this pocket notebook is about the same size as the Johnny wallet that I was carrying before, just a little bit taller, and certainly much more compact when compared to the Johnny wallet and a separate notebook. Now let's talk about the notebook features themselves as well as of course, what pen I'm carrying. If you're a long time watcher, you know that last year I said my favorite pocket pen ever was this spoke axle small pen. And I stand by that 100%. This pen is an absolute joy to use. It has a huge nib on it. It takes a standard cartridge size so I can just swap it out for whatever cool color I wanna play with that day and it's built like a tank, has never leaked in my pocket, it is absolutely wonderful. Unfortunately, it's just a bit too big to fit in the plotter pen sleeve. Plus for use like this, I decided that I want to try the quickness of a clicky pen, and so I went with the Kaweco Lilliput ballpoint pen. Now I've used the Kaweco Lilliput fountain pens before and I'm really not a fan of them. You have to screw off the cap, you have to post on the back to, in order for it to be really comfortable at all and it's just not an enjoyable writing experience for me so far. However, this ballpoint version is fantastic. It's very easy to activate and I can be quickly in writing a note in no time. It, it's just great. Now the one downside about this pen for me is that it comes with a 1.0 millimeter blue refill which is kind of junky on two fronts. For a pocket notebook like this, I want something really fine, and I also just don't like blue ink in the ballpoint, so I'm gonna be swapping this out. The good thing is it's just a standard D1 refill, so I'm gonna get something in the 0.5 millimeter range that's also black, and this then will be a killer combination. I'll just absolutely love this pen. But let's go back to the plotter and talk a bit about that. 
You see, Plyer is a company that's been around for a while in Japan, but they just made their debut to the US market last year. You can check them out using the link down in my description below. Uh, don't worry, I don't get any kickback from that whatsoever. This channel is definitely not big enough for sponsorship but it's a customizable, refillable notebook system, as you can see with these rings right here. On the website, you can take your pick of a couple different leather types, as well as a couple different leather colors, as well as a couple of different sizes. And, you know, I, of course, have a couple of different sizes. We can get to those in a future video. But once you pick your binder, then you can choose all the accessories that you go in there. I chose to go with this nice little leather protector here that kind of cushions and protects the leather from the rings. Really, I don't care. I mean, you already see the ring indentations here quite a bit, and it's a pocket notebook and wallet. It's gonna show use with wear, and I like that, but I just kind of like how this looks and feels in here. I also chose to purchase this page holder with this elastic band to hold the notebook closed on the front, and another page lifter with, of course, the pen loop on the back to hold my Lilliput, as I was talking about, and the wallet. In between, I have the normal plotter refill pages, and there are a couple of different varieties of pages you can get. I chose to go with just the classic dot grid. I find that is the most utilitarian. I can just quickly pull it out and do whatever I want, whatever direction I want, without being worried about being bounded by a really rigid graph notebook or lines. The refills themselves come in these cool little notebook things where you just kind of rip out a page and add it to it if you want. And when you're done, if it's something you don't care about, you can just rip it out and throw it aside. Or if it's something that's, you know, really special to you and you want to archive it for later, just, you know, open the rings, take it out and store it for later. I've only been using the Mini A5 plotter as a pocket notebook and wallet combo for the past two weeks or so, but I can already tell you that I am going to love it. It serves as the perfect combination of the pocket notebook, which I always have on me, and the everyday wallet, which as I said at the beginning is usually only a couple of cards and a couple of bills for me. I can easily say that my old trusty trio of the Johnny wallet, the Rodeo dot pad, and the Spoke Axle S are going to be something that I put aside and only pull out for special occasions. You know, those days when I really need to carry a lot more cash or I'm going someplace like to the dentist, I need to take a pile of insurance cards with me as I'll be doing tomorrow. I'll, I'll pull out the Johnny wallet for something like that where I need the extra space and the dedicated purpose of a wallet. But for daily use, who needs those? I've got my plotter. Do any of you carry a pocket notebook? If so, I'd really be interested in hearing what you use and how you carry it. Let me know in the comments down below. Till next time, bye. I'm also going to run into a problem with this battery. I need to plug this in. And I'm running down on the clock for the SD card as well. Okay, so hopefully now we should be good on the battery. Hopefully it doesn't cause any crosstalk with audio. Um, SD card, 23 minutes and counting. Let's do this.